Hey, what's up guys? This is Ashnox, showcase of Luna in Wyvern 13 with three free-to-play heroes with her. So My Luna is not actually plus 15 skill-ups. You know, I did pull for her two years ago. This is on my first account on Global, so I've had her for a long time. And, uh, you know, she's missing 10% damage here. She's missing 30% damage here. So, of course, it's not going to be, uh, you know, the highest of damage uh, coming out of her. There's still room for improvement, and I'm missing 9% crit chance here. But nonetheless, I'll be hitting 100% crit chance with uh, my stats. So it's nice. This hero has defense break and attack break because of the exclusive equipment. Well, this one. And she's getting more attack as well. So that's pretty cool. And having defense break and attack break is really nice in terms of boosting your, you know, your offense to deal more damage versus the target. And also to increase your team survivability because the attack break cuts the target's attack in half. Really nice. So you're getting a lot of stats here. You know, at attack increase, crit chance increase by up to 30%. And uh, you need to have 50% health or higher. And this thing is random. You know, reducing the cooldown of skill number three by one to three turns. So you could be unlucky or you could be lucky. You could have average luck. So it, it's not that stable, right? And when the battle begins, you use skill number three and it's it does have a 10 turn cooldown. Now for manual play, you do have a soul burn to increase the damage dealt. This uh, skill has elemental advantage. So that's really nice. Memory imprint, she's got attack percentage for herself, so it's good, you know, to squeeze that extra bit of damage and crit chance for the other team members. So, I mean, really nice memory imprint right there. But you don't need high attack in Wyvern. It's about scaling the damage of Daydream Joker, which means you need to get as much crit damage as possible. Of course, you need to hit 100% crit chance. If you are ice versus fire, you're going to be at elemental advantage. You, you will get 15% crit chance, so that's really nice. And, uh, of course, get as much attack as possible. But, you know, the more important stuff is 100% crit chance, as much crit damage as possible. Of course, a good amount of speed. That's the problem. You need a lot of stats for her. You need effectiveness. 65% effectiveness to land the attack break, the defense break from her skill number three. And then, like, at the end, you, you try to raise your attack. But really, like... Crit crit damage and speed will be the bulk of your damage when you are using the Dream Joker. If you have her passive skill 2 maxed out, you only need 55% crit chance. Let me show you the stats and the gear of the other heroes in the team. So Alexa would have over 400 attack if she was wearing Luna's gear and she would have 13% critical hit damage over what she has right now. So just keep that in mind. I know Aluna, like she's missing some skill ups. But yeah, Alexa uh, doesn't have the, the best of stats, you know, like Luna. And now for my Tarnar Guard, what you need to aim for on this hero is, you know, high speed. You need to go before your damage dealers and you need to have 65% effectiveness. More than that is a waste. You want to land your defense break with skill number one. And this artifact, Junkyard Dog, allow you to land burn debuff for two turns, which is really nice. Debuffs is the name of the game when it comes down to Wyvern. Crozet is my frontliner. I just try to get as much health and defense as possible. Outside of that, if you want to raise something else, well, go for effectiveness. He does have uh, the attack break debuff on skill number one, but remember that his speed will be low, so you won't be able to go much at all. Uh, so you're not going to be getting much turns during the battle. And uh, this artifact is allowing you to survive much longer. You know, you can wear that on any night. Very nice 30% damage reduction from elite and boss monsters. You can replace him with any ice knight or, you know, a, an ice soul weaver to just, uh, you know, heal itself and stay longer in the battle. Is Luna worth getting just for Wyvern? I would say that no, she's not worth getting just for Wyvern. You need to be using her in other areas of the game so if you're going to be using her in wyvern also you're going to be using her in you know pushing abyss you're going to be using her in hell raid you're going to be using her maybe in uh, guild war offense well that's good that's good if you're going to be using her in multiple areas of the game because you need to make those skill ups worth it now her skill three the 10 turn cooldown is definitely an issue uh she does use it at the start of the battle on wave one which doesn't really matter so that's problematic. And then if she doesn't get lucky with the skill one, she might not be using skill three for a while uh, while you get in when you're fighting in uh, wave two against the boss. So that's problematic when you are relying too heavily on her debuffs. You need to have another 
uh, defense breaker in the team so you apply the debuff and then luna goes with her skill 3 to deal you know maximum damage uh, so you don't want to rely solely on her for defense break and you don't want to rely uh, too much on her to uh, you know don't always count her as two debuffs it's not gonna be guarantee it's not gonna be uh, you know uh, reliable it's not gonna be something that you're like okay I'm hitting the boss wave two and she will be using it right uh, at the gate you know like that's not the case so she did use skill three she did apply defense break and attack breaks so that's nice this team composition with my gear I'm able to down the wyvern most of the time before the barrier phase so that's really nice especially when you uh, when i do get uh, quite a few defense breaks and alexa if she lands her poison she did land her two poison now alexa deals more damage than my luna i did multiple runs and uh yeah she is performing better than luna and she's only a three star hero i've i've done many showcases of alexa you know she is amazing in here because she attacks twice with skill one she got the poison you know two poison effects for two turns very powerful stuff we didn't get the defense break when we entered the battle so we were not able to actually defeat the boss before the barrier but i can i can tell you that when i'm using seaside balona i'm able to uh you know uh down the boss before the barrier and i would say that seaside balona is way more consistent in terms of la landing debuffs way better in that department and uh if you're looking for like the queen of wyvern in terms of uh, damage it's it's gonna be secret secret deals so much damage it's ridiculous so you can see here the breakdown the battle result alexa did beat uh, luna i will do another run because it's actually uh, going pretty fast here i would say that luna you know in terms of damage if she had all her skill ups she would be dealing damage uh pretty close to what alexa is capable of and actually i do have better stats on luna than i than i have on my alexa but if she was plus 15 skill ups she would be beating or she would be very close to alexa's damage you know on average but right now from all the runs that i've done alexa is beating her by you know sometimes a big margin sometimes she's doubling her damage uh but most of the time it's about like you know uh 30 to 50 percent more damage um you know she's a three-star hero it's quite ridiculous uh it just goes to show you how powerful daydream joker is and a mechanic like attacking twice with skill one yeah and also if i would just turn off the skills of alexa she would always attack twice you know and uh that would definitely uh boost her damage even further because now i have her skills turned on which is the recommended thing to thing to do because you want her to apply poison debuff so it counts as up to two poison effects so you're trying to reach uh two debuffs against the boss so the boss actually attacks your front liner now i got lucky i only had one debuff and the boss still attacked my crozette in the front and also like because it's random you know and uh, if you have three debuffs or more the boss will be dealing greatly reduced damage against uh you know your front liner or whoever so here defense break she's using skill 3 31 point 7k it's pretty nice alexa is able to do that with her skill one when she attacks twice if you add the damage together and uh i would say like luna yes if you really want to get her you know like waifu you want to use her in wyvern you want to potentially use her in other areas of the game then yeah by all means like go for her she's limited maybe she gets buffed later down the line we were starting to see that happening actually her exclusive equipment was like yes it's a buff of course you know when you don't have an exclusive equipment uh of course it's not as good as when you have one because she's getting like up to 14 percent more attack she's getting you know uh you know attack break from one of the exclusive equipment so that's pretty nice you can see here the damage was quite close to uh alexa but she had skill up uh of course the damage would be real nice especially on skill one which she does use uh more often let us know what you guys think about luna in the comment section if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash that like button and if you loved it well consider subscribing to the channel i'm astronauts good luck with all you do peace out for now